Hello everyone and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. My name is Mr. Wolfie. Um, done some things while we were gone. You might notice I'm in Firelink and that I have diff my the Abyss Watcher's armor back on. I decided to do some soul management. Uh, part of it is I realized I feel like I'm a little... I think I was a little underleveled. Um, it's fixed. We're now level 43. I also went, um, I did some soul devouring and traded some things. We're now wearing Havel's Ring, which increases maximum equip load, so I got a nice fast roll now. Not the fastest I think you can get in the game, but still really, really nice. Um, and what's good about that is it means that if I ever really want to, I could probably fairly easily switch to like one of these heavier weapons. Um, oh, well, not that one apparently. That one's still too heavy. By how much, though? Not much. If I take off the crossbow. No? Crossbow, uh, crossbow doesn't quite do it. Do I have to be just under 70, you guys think? So let's put that back on. And then take that off. That'll give us a nice medium roll. This is the big, the actual great sword in the game, by the way. Look at this monstrosity. Ginormous. I need to see what this upgrades with, actually. I would not mind using this since I can actually roll with it. I also do need to remember to cure my hollowing at some point. The only light patch on my face because I'm so hollowed is the sun tattoo I put on my face. Uh, so this upgrades which is Titanite shards. That's fantastic. I wish I had thought of that because I've already gone and upgraded this Vylander with those um chunks. Uh, not chunks. Oh god, chunks. Chunks. Uh, the large Titanite shards that we had found. We still have one extra though, so that's nice. So if I find one more large Titanite shard, I could then catch up one of these heavier weapons. I forgot I have the Black Knight Greatsword, but I can't use that yet. I have the strength now. Um, that was one of the stats I leveled up. I went ahead and leveled my... Oh, no, I did My strength's already been 30. I leveled my health and my endurance a bit. Um, but I didn't have much left over after making these items. The ring costed 5,000, etc. That uses Titanite Shards. Butcher Knife used Titanite Shards. This I just can't infuse, I think, is what it was. Can I infuse the... Oh, oh, I can, I can give it a heavy gem. <laughs> Daddy. Not right now, though. Not right now. We're going to hold off on that. Um, I've never looked at the Stora Greatsword. Okay, it's a dex-focused Greatsword. Good to know. Do have the Exile Great Sword, but I think I'm good on that. Yeah, I think that's all the ones I'd really been looking at. The Great Machete and the Great Club, obviously, fun choices if you're into that. Um, but I think we'll keep using this Violander for now. Oh, but that's so tempting! Look at that beast. Pretty be careful. I go. <laughs> Yeah, so I let's go back to our Zweilander, so we can wear our helmet. Hmm. I, I, I like the helmet with a little hood on it, because you know, this already doesn't infringe upon my invisibility. Let's wrap something around the edges. Um, I did die one extra time. I was just kind of fooling around, figuring maybe I'll grind a little bit for souls so I can get the upgrade, and then I got doinked. Um, and that's when I realized, oh, wait, I, I shouldn't be doing this. I'm not recording right now. But I caught on. It's fine. 
Now, actually, is it faster now to get to the front door? I don't know, because I don't remember... I don't know if there, there's not like, as far as I'm aware, there's not like a secret way to get to the front door quicker. So I would still be doing this. Unless that path happens to lead to the front door. Well, that'd be great. If you know, you should let me know. You shouldn't keep that a secret. Mm -hmm. mm. Bye. Oh yeah, that's significantly quicker. Well, I won't say significantly quicker, I'll say less enemies to fight. How about that? Because I don't have to go through all that muck down there. How did I... Have I gone over here? I don't remember this place. I haven't gone over here yet, apparently. A dual charm. Alright, there was the one more wall we needed to raise, but I don't think I ever found where the leather was. Oh, and I definitely haven't been over there either. There's so much more to this place than what I found. Let's go deal with this boss fight first. I want to do some checking. That's cool. I can just go around them? No, not really. Come on. That just, that just missed. Entirely. Like, not even close. I was really worried and thought I was gonna have to dodge, and then you just did that. And I'm just judging you really hard, and I hope you understand. That's a problem. You did not just trade with me, you dork. Are you gonna be chill? Well, as long as you're chill, I'll be chill. Let's get our buddies. And let's do this. First thing I'm going to do is I am going to actually use some of these. I want to see how that goes. 
trying to target the main one with fire bombs and just yeeting them in there. All right, Horus. On ready. Let's go make the magic happen. I have a little more health. I have a little more armor. Horus is great in this because of that pole arm. meet the human being who does not stagger when being hit with this sword. go small doll and the deacons of the deep I don't know what you do with the small doll hey a bonfire I love a good bonfire Let's take a look. So we got the soul of the Deacons of the Deep. After Aldrich left for the Boro Valley, Archdeacon Royce remained in the cathedral with the High Priest to keep eternal watch over their master's coffin. Well, he left if he's not... Whatever. And we got a small doll. Is it in keys? It is. In the legendary old city of Irithyll, situated in the Boro Valley, the Pontiff Sullivan gave this doll to valued subjects so that they might use it to cross the barrier when they return home. Listen carefully and you can hear it say, wherever you go, the moon still sets in Irafil. Wherever you may be, Irafil is still your home. Fancy. We didn't get that many souls from that either. Um, let's go back to Firelink. I want to see what his soul can make. I doubt it's anything we'll use. I did end up eating the blood of the wolf. I I fought really long and hard about using a Torius. Oh, hey. Hi, Henri. Oh, can we meet again? We spoke before on the road of sacrifices. Henri of Astora. I'm well pleased to see you safe. 
We reached the Cathedral of the Deep, but Aldrich's coffin was empty. The man-eater must have left for his true home. The little doll in the empty coffin told me. Aldrich is said to hail from Irithyll in the Boreal Valley, an ancient fabled city. A pilgrim told me that the city lies beyond Farron Keep, and so becomes our destination. Aldrich's honest home is Irithyll in the Boreal Valley, an ancient fabled city. A pilgrim told me that the city lies and so old a pilgrim. Oh. Wise words. I'm convinced he like just doesn't have a tongue or so. Oh. Okay. Oh, Chapter Wish. Oh, Champion of Ash. These are dark tales of things that, of course, only the little creature. Deep protection. It boosts attack, damage. Absorption, resistance, and stamina recovery speed. The deep was originally a peaceful and sacred place, but became the final rest for many abhorrent things. This tale of the deep offers protection for those who worship amidst these horrors. And then gnaw. Summon an insect swarm to feast on foes. That sounds awful. I love it. You know, in my I would rather, but if I oh, terrible. Have a pleasant I pray. Oh, hello, and in one. You can pause that. You pause that. Good pause this. <laughs> I really want him to go somewhere else, but he won't leave. Anything new for me? Honorable, that a lord are barefoot and I. Till we meet, may I want to take a moment. I'm gonna look up what makes oh, him leave because I don't want to lose Grey Rat. I love Grey Rat. So I want to make sure that we can keep him around while, you know, also keeping him useful. Hmm. So, he's already done his first outing. He will do the next... We haven't progressed far enough for him to do the next one. Um...
Oh, see, I knew there was something that we have to do Goodbye. <laughs> in order to help him. We So, if you remember the Onion Knight, the guy we helped earlier, he is somewhere lost in the Cathedral of the Deep, and we have to save him. I don't remember everything. I bet it's in that area. So he is there's so there's apparently a bonfire that we've missed. First of all. Which makes sense with what we do now. I'm sorry, it's just that you do not matter to me. There's a guy who didn't spawn in here. Okay, so now we have to find his armor. And I, do, I don't know who has it, but I know, well, I, I know who he is. It's a recurring character in all the Souls game called Patches. Get a bunch of souls. Okay, so I think I think we have to go back through the main doors that we opened. I think that's what we need to do. I'm get why am I getting souls? What is happening? Okay, so here's the main doors. So my understanding is that now that we've reloaded this area after opening that door, he's out here somewhere. 
But I don't know where. I don't know how we trigger him. But he's somewhere. We just gotta find him. Wait. I bet. Because I'm pretty sure the idea is that he's here. He's like on that side. But how do we get up there? I don't know what to do, guys. I'm lost. I'm lost. Oh, okay, so we messed up. Okay, so we cannot have Grey Rat appear. Uh, not Grey Rat, but uh, Patches appear here because we've already killed the Deacons of the Deep. So now what we need to do... is Homeward Bone... Go to the shrine, and we can make him appear there. So we need to go to the bell tower. I don't know which one's the bell tower. Do you know what the bell tower is? I imagine it's the thing we can access over here. But yeah, so basically, Patches has stolen uh, Sigward's armor. He, he's got it. He's yeeted that armor. Is this the bell tower? Or is this the bell tower? I don't know which one counts. Oh. It's this one. <laughs> Sorry, friend. Be more careful. By the gods, curiosity. Some places are... Ooh. Have no fear. There's beauty in death. Besides, you're surrounded by ladies. Every man's dream, right? I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> oh, no matter. By stripping every last trinket off your corpse, you're gonna make some lucky customer very happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is his thing. He likes to trap people and kill them. But you're gonna. <laughs> Fortunately for him, I already know how to do this. Because we've already done it, right? Ooh, it's this way. And I'm stronger than I was last time. Ha ha ha. Also have 
this door unlocked. Yeah, idiot. Yeah, oh, is that a drop? Oh lord, I was gonna be so mad with myself if I died right there. I'm coming for you, you cheating varmint. Try to decide if I want to kill him or buy some of because you can get the armor from killing him, but I don't mm, I don't know if you can get the armor from killing him that nah. Well where'd he go? He's not up there. That's stupid. Ah, oh, you're alive. Now hold your horses. Let's have a nice talk about this. Mm-hmm. I've come clean. I did you wrong. I didn't mean it though. Not one bit. Y you get these urges running the business and all, and, and I, oh, I, I hate myself for it. I do. You know what I mean. Terrible, really. But I can see you'll forgive me. You're alive, after all. Oh, for heaven's sake, you're still alive. And I'm here groveling in the dirt, so to speak. Oh, I know. Here, a token of my sincerity. Right and proper, huh? We're just a couple of outcasts. Let's make the best of it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I need that. I need that. I need that. I need that. Oh, do you have hit? Is that his too? I think it's just the armor. Do you sell anything of use? You sell rubbish. I'm gonna leave you alive, but I should have killed you. I might still kill him. I just want to make sure I've actually saved Sigwood first. I don't know how having armor is going to help you get out of this. Also going to replace this with this. I love it, that's so classy. Alright, I know that was a lot of sidetracking to make sure, but I, I like to keep my NPCs alive, okay? I think everyone likes a good NPC.
We're gonna go back to the Deacons of the Deep. I'm just gonna check around there because I didn't really look in the area. And obviously there is more in this cathedral that we can look at that we just haven't found the path to. Now I thought that the catacombs were through here. Look at this giant tomb. This is a tomb, by the way. That is his coffin. That This is the coffin of Aldrich. Saint of the Deep. That's kind of spooky. But yeah, let's see if we can't figure out how to get to that other side. Because obviously there's a way, right? <laughs> oh yeah, and then there's up there. You're gross. There just must be something I'm missing or a path I didn't go down. twice there, right? Oh. Uh, well, I got doinked. That's what happens. We, I need to find what is the... Because I don't think it's that way. I don't think that's right. supposed to go. Do I need to get back up there, maybe? Access it from that side? I guess we didn't really ex explore up here properly because there was the giant.
nine of these. What is the reason for this? Ow, mother! I forgot all about this, but I thought we had already done everything over here. angry lady. Sit down. I don't want to have to look it up. Oof. 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 I just almost oofed. gonna do a jumping attack on him. That's pretty great. I'm pretty pleased with how that went down. <laughs> but yeah, I thought the only thing I encountered in here was Big Boy. I really hope is not still up there. He is not. Hmm. I think there must be a hidden wall or something that I'm missing. But, anywho, this episode's starting to run a little bit over. I know we didn't do much, though we did fight a boss. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I'm going to keep, as long as I don't end up, like, going somewhere new, I'm going to keep looking around, see if I can't figure out what I'm missing, because this is what we need to go up. We need this to go up, because then we can just go from there over to there. But I'm not sure where that's supposed to be. So I'm going to look that up, and, um... I'll be back then. I hope you guys have a nice night, and I'll see you soon.